Welcome to the webbikeworld.com video tour of the Shark S900 motorcycle helmet. Please visit webbikeworld.com for the full review and detailed photos of this helmet and many more. The Shark S900 is new for 2010 and it completely revitalizes the Shark S series helmet lineup. The R or race series is still the top of the line for Shark and the S series comprises the company's street and sport touring helmets. The Shark Urban Series consists of the excellent Evo line we reviewed recently, along with a pair of open face helmets. The S900 is loaded with features and it's an excellent helmet, especially for the price, which is very competitive and indicates a new willingness by Shark to battle it out in the heart of the helmet market. The S Series contains all the safety technology that Shark is known for, however, so there's no shortchanging here. Shark also offer an S700, which is nearly identical to the 900 except for the rear spoiler and different intake and exhaust ports. This S900 is in the beautiful ellipse graphic. That's ellipse, E-L-L-I-P-S-E, -L -L -E, with two L's, not the misspelled word with one L that many websites are mistakenly using. The ellipse graphic has a geometric background pattern, and the white and anthracite overlaid paint on this version give the helmet a nice modern look. The S900 face shield lifts through five solid detents, with the first defogging position slightly larger than expected. It's really easy to remove, however, just push the button and slide it out, then slide it back into the U-channel to replace it. It's a bit awkward here because of the camera position, but you can see how easy it works. The S900 has a unique blade spoiler in the rear, in this plastic that looks like aluminum and the top vents in front repeat the faux aluminum design. The vents are small and open with a slider across the top towards the rear. The chin venting system is excellent and operates with a small rocker button on the front of the vent grille. The chin bar has vent channels that direct the air onto the rider's face through the chin bar. That's a definite plus. The S900 also has an internally rotating sun visor that works with a simple lever on the left side. The visor can be stopped in any position, but like most of these internal sun visors, it could always be made darker and it wouldn't hurt if it rotated farther downwards. The helmet liner is removable and fairly comfortable, and the DOT version of the S900 seems generously sized, so be sure to read the webbikeworld.com review, where we also have photos of the S900 Faust Lumi version that glows in the dark. It's an interesting review with two viewpoints on the same helmet from around the globe using the S900 Ellipse, DOT, and ECE version, and the S900 Faust Lumi World version, so be sure to check it out. So that's a quick look at the Shark S900 motorcycle helmet. For more details, photos, and the full review of this helmet and many more, please visit webbikeworld.com. Thanks for watching.